Hey everyone, and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at a brand new 2023 Cardinal Red 28BH fifth wheel. This is a smaller bunkhouse fifth wheel. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, and we'll close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we're now up inside the brand new 2023 Cardinal Red 28 bunkhouse fifth wheel. We're gonna start back here in the rear bunkhouse section, then we'll kind of work our way forward. So in the back, as you've seen on the floor plan, this is the bunk room. So you have kind of an L-shape upper bunk area. There's a window there that does open. USB charger port and electric outlet on that back wall back there. There is another window on this side over here that does open. You have electric outlet down in the lower corner, another electric outlet down here. Looking up at the ceiling here, you have your ducted AC vents. There's also TV hookups up there, so you can mount your TV on the wall if you wanted to. You have a lower bunk area here. USB charger ports, electric outlet back there, and a light. Down below, we have storage area down here. Heat duct coming out of the wall instead of the floor. And then you have little cubby areas as well. So sleeping three kids back here pretty comfortably. All right, back out into the living room kitchen area here. So let's do the kitchen part first here. So you have kind of an L-shaped counter space, couple windows overlooking the campsite area there. You have the graystone oven, which has the glass front, light up knobs, flip down glass lid, and three burner propane stove top as well. There's three full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. Heat duct coming out of the cabinet there. And you have quite a bit of storage underneath the sink area. High rise sprayer faucet, little paper towel holder back there. Overhead cabinet space. And you have your graystone microwave and graystone hood range light and fan. Propane leak detector on the side of the cabinet down there as well. Now over on this side, we have our 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt ever chill refrigerator and kind of a little pantry area there as well. Some storage down below, little step stool thing that comes with it as well. Traditional booth dinette. However, this dinette also has cornhole boards built in as well. And basically the dinette cushions come off. The cushion has a hard bottom. So when you do remove the cornhole board off of there, you can also still put the cushions back, but you have storage underneath of there, and then you can take your cornhole boards out or just leave them where they're at. This booth dinette will also make into a bed if you need to sleep an extra guest or two. Big windows there overlooking the back side of your RV. This slide out is a 12 volt slide, so you just push a button, it'll come in and out. It is a flush floor style slide. So it will kind of come in over top of the subfloor when it comes in. You'll see that at the end of the video, we'll go over that. So you have electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. You can use the lights or just the heat, so you can kind of pick how you work it. TV up top here. There is also a little room up above on your cabinet area, so if you want to put some decorations and stuff up there, you could. A 
The sofa here is a trifold sofa, so this will flip out, make into a bed, giving you room for one or two more guests to sleep here as well. Decent amount of cabinet space up above that. And just kind of looking down the ceiling here, we have one of our ACs, which is ducted right here. Looks like they are currently using the Tough Flex roof by Dicor. On the side of your cabinetry here, you have a little bit of shelf space little hooks, hooks by the entry door there as well. Traditional RV entry door and screen door. Digital thermostat for your AC down here, which also controls the furnace. Electric box with the breakers and fuses here at the step area. And we have our suburban on-demand water heater controls here. Pretty cool little setup. Then up here we have our main control board here, which does a whole lot of goodies. So we can control our slides. Uh, we have some light switches here, water heater, water pump, 12 volt tank heaters. This board, by the way, is used on multiple of their models. So some of the features don't necessarily apply like this has four slide outs but the camper only has one and this has two awnings but again the camper only has one so again they use this on multiple floor plans but you'll see a lot of cool features here you compare it to your phone bluetooth and things like that a little advertisement here that does talk about the roadside assistance by safe ride that comes with all forest river products for one year Grab handle here to help you get up and down the step area. Smoke detector up top. Now here on the left, we have our bathroom area. So let's kind of start from the top down. So we have a vent fan exhaust here, AC duct in here, skylight up above. We have some coat hooks there, our robe hooks on the left. Step in shower, ABS tub surround, pull across curtain here. You do have a foot flush toilet. Pretty good amount of storage below the sink area there. Large mirror as well. Then going forward here, we're into the master bedroom area here. So up top here, we have a little box here that talks about the Furion Access. And basically this is a, a LTE Wi-Fi router kind of setup that you can subscribe to. Uh, talk with your salesperson about that. They'll be able to go over more details on that type of stuff with you. You have overhead cabinet space across the front there. The second AC on the unit right there. Electric outlet, USB charger port on each side. You have a little end table on each side and there is a little bit of storage underneath there as well. Now the bed will raise up and there's a pretty good amount of storage underneath the bed also. Window on each side of the bed and they do also open. Now back here is kind of a little closet area. Let me get spun around here. So we can see this a little better. So this area right here, you got some little cubbies, little uh, closet rod up there. There's also electric outlets up there as well. And down below is hot and cold and a drain for doing washer dryer setup if you want. So you could do yourself a combo washer dryer, maybe even a stack washer dryer if you like those type. Heat duct down there, electric outlet there. There's cable and electric outlets up top here, so you could put your TV on the wall. But overall, a decent sized bedroom for a small bunkhouse fifth wall.
quite a few features packed into this thing for less than 45 grand currently. So we're gonna run outside. I wanna show you around the outside of the RV and then we're gonna come back in and close it up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Cardinal Red 28 BH fifth wheel here. Starting here on the door side of the RV. So we have a white fiberglass exterior. This is a laminated aluminum framed studded sidewall, foam block insulated. You have lower black metal skirting, some black trim work and vinyl decals. You have tented windows, Power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff, manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. You also have a porch light up there as well. A lot of brands just do either the awning light or the porch light, but usually not both. So it's kind of nice to see they did both here. On the front side here, you have your landing gear. You have an electric stabilizer jack system on the front with the quick pull pins. So you push a button, run it up and down, get it on and off the truck. Two 20 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator system right here. The pass through storage area right here. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing there. A crank handle here, a couple little uh, hooks there as well. You have a little bottle opener here. There is a cold water spray port, electric outlet, and cable outlet here as well. A couple little advertisement stickers there talking about that vacuum bonded structure, your sidewalls, the extended season package, along with that enclosed underbelly as well. Large folding entry handle here to help you get in and out of the RV. You have the heavier duty more ride entry step here. Comes down, touches the ground, rated for 500 pounds, where a traditional hover style step's only rated for 300 pounds. Doesn't shake the RV as bad either when the kids are running in and out. Stove exhaust vent up there. You have the aluminum wheels, easy loop hubs, 12 volt drum brakes, Make sure you have a brake controller in your tow vehicle so you can safely work the brakes on the RV. Now going on around to the back side here, we have a traditional flat back rear end here. This is prepped for the Furion rear observation camera. Nice feature to add aftermarket. This right here basically allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or when you're backing into a campsite. The black rectangle in the top right corner there is prepping for the Lippert Stow and Go portable ladder. It's a telescoping ladder. It's a pretty nice setup there. It's actually rated for more weight capacity than the mount on RV ladders. But what's really nice, especially on these bunkhouse models, you can take it and throw it in a storage compartment and you don't have to worry about your kids horsing around, climbing up and down on the back of your RV or your roof and falling off and getting hurt. Back here, we have the storage area on the rear. It's a decent amount of storage space. Detachable 50 amp electric cord here on the back side. And that is probably about 25 or 30 feet long. I just kind of looking underneath the bottom here. You can see that enclosed underbelly one of your two rear stabilizer jacks, and one of your drain valves here as well. Slide out is an electric slide. So you push a button, it runs in and out. We'll do that here shortly when we get back inside to close it up. Here you have your suburban on-demand water heater and your furnace exhaust out right here as well. Now just down below here is your second dump area. And you can also see up here the fresh water drain as well. 
that is roughly an inch and a half drain valve, so it does drain out faster. Battery disconnect right here. Here you have your docking station area, basically. So you have city water inlet, fresh water fill up, black tank flush. There's cable and satellite inlets here as well. You have a pre-wire for a portable solar panel if you wanted to do a portable solar panel. A couple light switches for your front cap lights and you also have your up and down button for your electric uh, landing gear here. Battery compartment. And then underneath of here is some hot and cold low point drain valves as well. Now right here we have some important informational stickers. I wanna pop these up for you real quick. The first one popping up is your main production data sticker. This has your production date, VIN number, axle sizes, but most importantly on this sticker, gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, do not exceed that number. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, basically telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line, and it also has the length on it as well. Next is your cargo carrying capacity sticker, basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed the gross weight on the first sticker. And last but not least, you have your tire sticker here, basically telling you tire size, but most importantly, cold tire pressure. Very, very important to keep up with your tire pressure on your RV. The tires can only hold a certain amount of weight at a certain pressure. If you let that weight or air pressure drop too low, they can't hold the weight of the RV properly going down the highway. So make sure you check your tire pressure. On the front side right here, we have spare tire underneath, some storage area here. Little access panel back there to get to some things. And quick picture here popping up of the front end. It does have a few LED light strips, one down each side, and then you have one just above your Rhino pin box. Nicely rounded out here, you can see. So it is kind of sloped back and bubbled out. So it is a little more aerodynamic than your traditional flat front fifth wheel. Again, Rhino pen box here. So if you do an upgrade to say a Moor ride or a Kurt air ride system or something, a gooseneck, whatever you're trying to do, make sure it bolts up properly to the Rhino box setup so that your bolt patterns all match up when you try to switch it out. And then it does have a little flag holder thing here as well. All right, uh, real quick picture of the roof here. You can see things up on top of the roof as far as, you know, air conditioners, plumbing stack vents, skylights, TV antennas, things like that. Very, very important here. Make sure you get up here from time to time and inspect your seams and seals and check stuff out. Also, while we're discussing the roof here, you'll notice up there on that roof how it actually rolls over that material, roof material rolls over and down probably I'd say about four inches or so into a gutter track. It's not terminated right at the edge, creating a sharp edge like some brands do. You find it a lot on travel trailers and lower price fifth wheels as well. But here they're actually spending a few extra dollars and doing it properly rolling that roof over the edging of the roof line. All right, we're gonna head back inside real quick. I wanna show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2023 Cardinal Red 28 bunkhouse here. And we're gonna close it up. So when you are ready to close it up, you have to come back in here to your control panel here. So you have a selector switch here to kind of go between different slides and awnings. They use the same control panel on multiple floor plans. So not all features apply to every floor plan. 
But basically, right now it's on awning, so we're going to backtrack ourselves over to slide out. While we're staring at this here, we have some different things as far as light switches, water heater, water pump, 12 volt tank heaters, uh, pairing Bluetooth, your fresh black, gray, all that type of stuff right here, in and out button. And then again, your suburban on demand water heater control. So you have a few different things up here. But when you are ready to bring this in, you are basically just selecting the slide you want, hit the button to bring it in or take it out. Now you'll notice as it's come in, came in here, uh, basically it tilted upward a little bit. This is a flush floor slide. It's a rack and pinion worm gear system, 12 volt powered. But it tilted upward to come in over the main subfloor and then it kind of settles back down. Heard that ratchety noise there, that means it's all the way in. So with it closed up, I could still come in here, get to my kitchen area, get to my refrigerator and load things in it. I could do just about everything except go to the bunk room and kind of sit in my sofa there. But I got full access to the bathroom, the master bedroom, and again, the kitchen area here. So if you are loading or unloading at the house or grocery store, wherever you might be at, you can pretty much do everything except get to the bunk room pretty easily. And when you're going back out, you just hit the button, take it right on back out. Again, very important to make sure nothing's in the way of the slide out. And also make sure your floor is clean when bringing it in so you don't accidentally damage something. And that's it. Pretty quick and easy to do. All right, thanks again, guys, for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. And also, if you don't mind, please like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more videos. Thanks again.